Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another AFK Journey video. And today we're going to do a guide for Odie, one of the best carries in AFK Journey, bar none. He's an A rank character and he carries as hard or harder than most S rank characters in this game. In fact, there is no game mode where he sucks. PvP, he's good. AFK stage pushing, he can do that. Story pushing, yes, he can. Uh, Dream Realm bosses, in some of them, he is literally part of the meta teams, and in the other ones, he's not bad. This is a character that new players should immediately add to their wish list, and he's a great target for the Empo Emporium buying dupes for this A rank character. I got mine to Supreme Plus today, which kind of spurred me into making this guide, and I'd like to make a guide video for about every character I use on my main account so here we go let's talk about what makes Odie great and you can see I got this new button right here because I just supreme plus him about 15 minutes ago okay so the TLDR on Odie how he wants to play you need to get him to mythic plus and unlock heart crusher if you're a newer player and you're like I have Odie and he just kind of shoots people and then poisons them what's so great Heart Crusher is the moment. Mythic Plus is the first milestone you need to hit with this guy. Now, there are other milestones that are very important, but the first one where you will see him begin to pop off for your account is when you unlock Heart Crusher because Heart Crusher allows him to execute enemies below a certain threshold. That threshold is determined by his corrosive dart. His ultimate attack is a little snake looking poison that he throws out. And I know it's a snake because when it kills them, it like snakes above their head and bites their head off. So he throws out this little snake poison right here that deals 150% damage and dart poison to an enemy. The poison target will receive 30% damage every second until defeated. Dart poison cannot be dispelled. So it's non-dispellable poison on a target. And you'll see that when you unlock Heart Crusher, you will see a little arrow on enemies HP bars. And once they drop below that, the snake will bite their head off and execute them. But you can make that arrow go really, really deep into their health bar, making that execute threshold, you know, 50% of their HP or even better than that sometimes. And then you can really just start executing people fast. How do you build that up? Well, let's talk about it. So let's read Heart Crusher. Odie immediately defeats poisoned enemies when their HP falls below a certain limit, which is equal to 5.2 times of the base damage dealt by dart poison per second. And when you first poison a target, this 5.2 times the base damage dealt by dart poison per second is very close to them just being dead anyway and again the first time you see this you might be underwhelmed but you can boost this base damage per second of his dart poison using his skills so let's look at those real quick triple tap od deals 60 percent damage to an enemy three times these attacks get the attacks from the skill are considered normal attacks this is important. The rest of this skill just gives him a little bit more damage but this is a triple hit attack where all the attacks are considered normal. You okay? That's important thing number one. Venom Surge. Odie launches normal attacks to the nearest poisoned target in priority. If the normal attacks hit a poison enemy, the base damage of the dart's poison, the ultimate's poison, is permanently increased by 25% up to 20 stacks. This skill right here, Venom Surge, will just start ratcheting up that poison meter. So, this expands the range is also at level two, expands the range of his normal attacks and his ultimate to seven tiles, making him a unit that you can just set on the battlefield wherever you want. And he basically won't move because he can hit whatever he's shooting from there, start throwing out his poisons and begin executing people. So this skill right here, let's read it again. Odie launches normal attacks to the nearest poison target. If the normal attacks hit a poisoned enemy, the base damage of the target start poison is permanently increased by 25% up to 20 stacks. And once you start stacking this thing, and I'm going to show you here in a second, that execute range just starts climbing and boom, he starts cutting people down. Then hero focus is just attack speed. You're going to want to level this up. And this is one of the areas you can work on once you unlock his heart crusher and you want to start making him OP. I would highly suggest taking his hero focus to level three, getting him that attack speed so he can start working targets down faster. Another thing you you're gonna want to do. I mean, this is a guide video. What's his Supreme Plus? I honestly just got this. So when triple tap hits a poison target, its damage is increased by 1.5 times. The dart poison's damage dealt per second. So a little more damage for him at Supreme Plus. But here's another big one. Um, on his, boop, on his, what am I clicking? Here we go. On his Serpent's Rest, this is his unique weapon. You wanna get this thing to level 10. Unique weapons on these characters in AFK Journey all have breakpoints where they kind of get a second awakening almost. 
a lot of characters it's at plus five which you can get to with just the like the blue leveling stones his is a little bit more expensive you're gonna have to use your orange leveling stones here what are they called again temporal essences you're gonna have to use your orange temporal essences on him i think because once you get this guy to level 10 on his heart or his heart crusher to level three by getting this to let rank 10 he gets 600 initial energy that's a big deal because you really need him to start his reset chain and the biggest thing holding him back before you do this is he has to build up to his first ultimate when you get this to owning 600 initial energy that's the same amount of energy he gets when he's resetting on target so he essentially gets a reset at the beginning of battle this is something you're going to want to do leveling up so let me go over right here get him to mythic plus level hero focus to level three and then level his unique weapon serpent's rest to rank 10. you can stop there because getting into like plus 11 i mean it gets really expensive after plus 10. so it's gonna be a bit of a journey especially if you're free to play just to get this to plus 10. but now you have yourself a, an unlocked od who's ready to go so let's talk about what he does in this game let me show you some tips on how to build him who he counters who he synergizes with etc let's go okay here we go we're going to talk about afk stage pushing a little bit and you can see my characters are level 200 for Odie in my tank 190 for my other three and we're fighting level 243 mobs this is afk stage 1011 this is big time deficit pushing right here obviously i'm more towards the end game than some people might be but this would apply to about anything i'm going to attempt right here to run Odie in a single carry role i'm going to give him two tanks kind of like 2.5 tanks with Thorn coming back to life and the invulnerability on Brutus, two supports and just Odie. And I want to see what he can do. Another big tip I'm going to give you right here is Star Shard Spell. Star Shard Spell is fantastic with Odie. Why, you might ask? Because it goes off and does big AoE damage based on the number of times you ult. Odie's going to just be ulting a lot. Now, Rowan, I just am using Rowan here as a support option because he and, um, you know, our rat boy are my two leveled supports that I want to use. Hewan's not really that leveled up for me, so that's what I'm going to roll with. You don't need Rowan for Odie because watch this. I'm going to hit battle. I'm going to slow it down to 1x speed. Odie's already dropping his first poison. There's that little arrow. Now watch, as he taps him with his normal attacks, that arrow goes up. He will now execute this guy. There's the snake. Boom, snake bite. He's poisoned the next target. There it is. Here's the arrow. You can see the arrow beginning to go up. It's going up. Execute. He's dead. Odie has chewed through the front line. He been, begins poisoning the next target. Boom, execute. He'll now throw the poison to the next target. There it is. And Odie, start dropping those. Oh, Odie got crowd controlled for a second, but here it comes. Here it comes. Snake bite. Poison the next target. Here it comes. Snake bite. Odie absolutely carried that by himself absolutely did now we can look at damage thorin's damage is always like busted op for a tank but uh that's the od solo carry power right there this is wonderful because even if like me you've invested into some like big time s rank characters Florabells, Vala, Ceseus of the world, you will eventually run into stages like this one. Here, let me let me drop everybody from this stage. I'll drop them from both, where you have to do two fights. And this can be a problem, right? Like two fights, that means I have to have two teams. So maybe I set my first team up where I'm like, okay, this team has a whole bunch of tanks that we're fighting against right here. So well, what's fight two? Fight two has a tank. Oh, fight two has Igor. By the way, Odie, hard count. Igor. So let me put Odie in this squad then. I'll go ahead and set up. I'll go tank and then I'll go I'll go another tank here. I'll go like uh, Tamisha and then I'll drop my Odie in there. Put him behind Thorin so he's linked to him. He goes really well with Thorin in a solo carry comp like this. I am going to bust out Hewan here. Even though she's only 190 and there's some trouble out here for her. I'll bring her in and then I'll bring the Rat Pack healer out as well for my first squad then my second squad i'll lean in more to these like super hyper carries that i've invested in you know i'll drop a vala out here a florabelle a Cessia. i'll drop all these guys and then i'll get some tanks out here with them like where's my brutus he'll guarantee me to tank for a little bit and then i kind of need some more frontline 
Ooh, man, I need, or I need some support, actually. Let's go like this. I'm kind of short a tank. I don't, this, for, my first group might actually lose. So let's start on group two. I've kind of heavily invested into group two for this video. Let's hit battle and see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up to 2X and we'll see how this one runs. Now there's Odie's first poison. This tank's really hard to chew through, but watch. Oh, it hit the threshold and he executed her. I wanna see him put his, his poison. Okay, look, Igor, Igor, jump, bro jumps no more he's dead because guess what doesn't matter how many gravestones he has out Odie will execute him this is one of Odie's greatest things that he does Igor is annoying as hell we all know Igor's annoying as hell and Odie does not care now I'm a little concerned for this fight honestly I invested my two best tanks into the last one and now I have uh Brutus with okay we'll see if we can just hyper carry this Go, go, hyper carries. Let's see, do we clear this stage? Okay, Brutus is taking as long as he can. Vol is trying. Rowan, I need you to get my get my summons out. If I can get all my summons out, we have a chance. Boom, boom. Okay, I think we win, actually. I think the summons are just gonna tank this up for us with Rowan down. But, uh, yep, okay, come on. Don't let, don't let, yo, know, HP steel boy up here drain tank us the whole time. Big bang. Okay, wait, kill him. There we go, we won. So I used my hyper carries, like my S rank hyper carries to push through this. And then Odie, the A rank character, pushed the second stage all by himself, including dealing with Igor, who's super annoying. So this is kind of a good setup. So I could jump into some fights, hit auto, and then hopefully my hyper carry team right here can run through some stages. And then my Odie solo carry team can run through the rest. Okay, you do need to protect him in that solo carry team, which can be a problem, but there you go. That's how he works in AFK pushing stages. Same sort of theory is going to apply for story stages. Now I can't actually show you any story stages right now because I'm at the point where I am unlocking what I believe is the last, one of the last two zones in the game currently and i have to have my resonance level at 200 and for as much money as i've spent in this game i have not bought enough pink dust to actually be at a resonance level that i can unlock this which is is too bad you know i even have a friend who's in here right now and i just can't get in myself but that's how he works in afk stage pushing and story pushing let's take a look at pvp and dream realm Okay, now here's a PvP fight. You can see, if I try to run the like Odie solo carry with two tanks and two supports, my power's at 504k and I'm fighting somebody at almost 50,000 power more than me. What I'm a little worried about here is our guy Iron. If he can mess up my formation, that could be a problem. And if Vala ever picks up aggro on Odie before he can chew through her, that's a problem. Another weakness of Odie is definitely Thorin. Like this is not the best fight for this comp and i might want to consider throwing in a second carry here to try and like be a backup carry like maybe a vala instead of rowan and i think that is what i'll do i think i've talked myself into that so let's throw a vala in here maybe drop her back and hope that she can help me carry this and then let's throw into the fight and see what happens now iron's going to start the fight off by throwing our whole formation into nonsense but we do get the tank like the 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 aggro call from brutus let me slow it down to one x if thorn let me click on it there we go okay Odie's already resetting on people iron's gonna throw our whole formation into flux again but we've dropped the poison onto him next and he's gonna get executed boom so it doesn't matter that they're you know that they're healers in the back they're trying to heal people now thorin's gonna get executed here but one of the problems with Odie against thorin is thorin doesn't really die still did it matter no and look at this boom that is a 50,000 power difference. I don't know. Maybe it changed when I put Vala in there, but still we were uh, probably not supposed to win that fight. Odie just chewed through things. He just, we, we were mostly supports and tanks right there. They were counting on the ability to like, I don't know, wombo combo us down. Odie, because he was able to initially poison and immediately start like resetting and popping off, carried the heck out of that thing. And you can see there's his damage. Putting Vala in as the second carry right there definitely seemed like a good idea. Like I think she helped uh, neutralize the enemy Cessia, which was the kind of follow-up to the iron. This isn't an ideal team comp build by the enemy, but we were outpowered and we won it with our A rank carry Odie. And then we did have the Vala helping us out there as well. Okay, let's see if we can find one more fight for this video real fast. 
Okay, now here's another fight. I'm currently ranked somewhere around 20th. The person I'm fighting here is ranked in the top 10. They have a small power lead on us, but a big lead in the ranking. So this is a chance for me to gain a lot of ranking points today without having to use like gyms to reset, which I've avoided for a few days, which I'm telling you the people at the top hardcore gym reset every day. I did two days of not resetting with gyms and I fell back like 15 spots in the leaderboard despite picking up some wins anyway today i'm gonna go od i'm gonna use tamisha as kind of a bruiser hopefully counters one of vala's ults hopefully my vala can pop off and hopefully that buys my od some time to start doing his thing now once again that lockdown i call them summoner spells but that lockdown that chain on your back line is just such an effective way of shutting down od and other characters in this game let's go ahead okay our rowan's going their rowan's going I would love for my Vala to lock their Cessia down for a little bit right here. And you can see she's going to alter in the back line. It's just hard to watch this at 1x. Let's go 2x. Okay, so they're getting shields online. But shields, Odie doesn't really care about those shields much. Still, even though, like, we just aren't able to chew through their front line. His execute just went off. He had a, it had almost up to 100% right there. So even though this is a fight we're going to lose as we just weren't able to sustain through what they did long enough, like I feel like I needed a little bit more beefiness, a little bit more sustain to get that thing going. Still, you saw right there at the end of that fight, Odie basically full HP executed one of their tanks. Like that's his power right there if you can get it online. So there was an example of a win. There was an example of a loss. I think Odie is a good PVP unit, but not maybe as like meta defining in PVP as some of the current like S rank super carries are. Still, if he's your main guy, you can build teams with him, pick good fights and absolutely win. I am not the most experienced Odie player out there but if you keep him alive get him resetting he can kill people from any hp he's especially good against igor just watch out for like the the valent or the 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 um i call valent like yo the undead tank guy all right next up let's talk a little bit about dream realm and we have a good dream realm fight for Odie today king croaker you can see Odie is one of the characters who constantly attacks and that's good for king croaker so let's set him up let's see what we can do in fact we have two of the like two of our built characters are really good against him and thorin who also counters insta kills is good out here as well this is the hell ranker for king croaker so let's build a team and see what we can do real quick and then see what Odie does now I'm going to put Thorin out here. Odie is unable to move. I'm going to go ahead and link him up right there. King Croaker likes to be killing people. I want my Odie to be one of my main carries and be taking him down. I'm also going to put Floribel in here because Floribel, it said Floribel was really good. And if Floribel can get a bunch of her summons out, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that kind of distracts the Croaker a little bit, then I will just go with some of my like staples for these game modes, right? I'll throw a Smokey in here to get my heals online because he's one of the best for that. And then I'll go with Vala because she's such a good single target damage dealer for me. We'll put her in there as well. And then let's see how this plays out. Okay, so straight away, my Thorin goes in there and starts tanking. Smokey's putting his stuff out. There's my first poison. And here we go. We do eat an AoE from the Croaker. We're tanking here. Smokey's popping his ults. We apply poison again. We are going to absolutely kill this guy, I think. We are unfortunately kind of grouped around Odie. So one thing I could do if I wanted to like help make sure Odie stayed safer in these fights, since he's never moving, if I know I'm going to have a bunch of like summons and other characters clogging up the map over here, I could put Odie over here to draw him away from those like really powerful yo know, blast that the croaker drops you saw he just eliminated half of my team with one attack but we executed him his hp even this boss's hp hit that threshold where we killed him that was pretty cool it was only like three or four percent but that last three or four percent of a boss is important that run right there put us up to rank seven which feels pretty good now i'm gonna edit my team a little bit let's swing at him again this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep these in there, but I'm going to put like a Thorin over here. I'm going to put Odie over here. I'm going to put, you know what? I'll put, I'll go like this. 
like this. I might throw, I might try to throw Odie in with like Rainier, see how that works out for me. Like that's one thing you can do with Rainier that's kind of clever. If you have and are investing in him, if I can find him, there we go. Obviously very hard character to get duplicates of, but you can set him up to like toss your characters around sometimes, maybe not on this fight anyway. Um, let's see here. Now, Odie is a magic character, so a Kruger, for example, is not going to help your damage on this fight a lot. I'll tell you what, I'll just put my Shield Bro in, and we'll have Shield Bro bouncing around this fight. Okay, Shield Bro and percent damage HP, bro. I could also use Merrily. She would be good here as well. And then once again, there we go. You, you can see how my setup right here is sort of attracting the um, those big AoE blasts into my back line. I would rather that go more towards those summons up front. He did just kill uh he killed my tank once already but we're putting pretty good damage on him i think well we're gonna get pretty high on the dps's right here and then we'll see what Odie's damage is on this like elite challenge level i don't know maybe we get him we're at 12 million already if we can hit 20 million we'll get all of the prizes obviously on these never ending hp bosses like this one that executes not going to do anything for you because you're i don't think at least you'll ever be able to actually just execute him but we're up to 15.3 million at this point Odie's just firing away so even though we lose out on the power of that execute we are still putting a bunch of damage in there and then a guy like corin who is a bosser right corin's whole thing is just destroying these bosses he and Odie live the whole time which is good so we run out of time zero seconds left we get to what threshold we get to rank six on our server right now 16 million damage that's not bad and then Odie was our main damage dealer right there so way to go Odie. corin you know he's doing his thing our tank did some work and then the floor bell and smoky i don't know floor bell it says floor bell's like really effective against this boss maybe that's not exactly as true or maybe Odie is just that much better we'll see i feel like if my rainer was like you know mythic plus this is probably a a lot better experience for you but still rank six we're probably going up at like rank 12 or 13 by the end of the day Odie hard carrying and that is kind of it the one thing i do want to say i want to mention again what you can do with Odie is just put him somewhere and he's not going to move that is so it's very nice to just be able to count on that i think having a carry connected to my tank would have been better but this isn't a king croaker boss guide this is just kind of an od showcase showing you how powerful he is and walking you through kind of how to play him what to look for etc another nice thing about him if you're a brand new player kind of looking at him for the first time as you do your dream realm fights and you should make sure to do your dream realm fights every day you will get dream store money you can buy 15 copies of Odie like a month in here so he is not if he if you are thinking about a first character to kind of invest in as far as your dream store Odie's a pretty good option in my opinion he will definitely help carry your account okay that's the video guys that's the guide I hope it was useful for you I hope you learned something if you liked it please like and subscribe to the channel for more AFK journey and other gotcha content over here and I'll catch y'all next time peace